Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Thanks for joining me tonight, guys. Um, so tonight I am going to do another swipe. So um, I really enjoy doing the last one. Um, but this time, so the first one I did it using the Shelly Art Technique. Um, and I used the paints and the mixtures and all that from the Shelly Art Technique. But tonight, I'm going to do them using my Dutch pour paints. So I'm going to give that a go. So what we have here is a 10 by 10 inch cradle wood um, board. I got it from Michaels. It's already um, pre-gessoed and I've already gone ahead and taped the sides. Um, on my wood rounds, or sorry, not wood rounds, on these wood um, pieces, I like to keep the uh, side white. Um, just because I think it looks really neat. So that's why I taped off the sides, as you can see. Um, okay, so I don't know how well this is gonna work, um, but we're about to find out together. So I'm going to flood this with my Dutch pour white. This, I don't know if this is gonna be too thin for this swipe. If it doesn't work out, and depending on the time, um, I might just scrape it and then do a swipe um, using the Shelly paints, but we'll see. Like, I mean, I've never tried this before um, doing using the Dutch pour paints, so might as well give it a go, just like I give everything a go in front of the camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing and if I'm failing or if I'm succeeding. So let's torch those bubbles. Okay, so I really love the blue and the purple that I had done. And so I'm gonna do blue again, but this time I'm gonna do yellow and orange. So I'm thinking um, beach meets the sunrise sunset. So I'm hoping that's gonna turn out. So I'm starting with uh, Thalo Blue by Grumbacher. So I'm hoping that is center i don't know i guess all right so thalo blue uh next color i'm going to use is a greenish blue by amsterdam so greenish blue all right and the last blue color i'm going to use is my uh iridescent green blue green sorry by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Okay, and now we move on to the Sunrise, and we're gonna start off with Amsterdam's Azo Orange. All right. Kinda getting mixed in with the white there. And next I have a cadmium yellow light hue. Look how bright that is um, by Liquitex Basics. So I'm hoping this turns out. If it doesn't, like I said, I will scrape it and we will try with the uh, Shelly paints. Okay, oh, I need my white, my white squeeze bottle. Okay, all right. So now I guess we shall put a bead of white, I don't know, here in the middle, like so. Okay, and now um, I have this clear sheet, you know, piece of paper. I can use the scraper, but I kind of want to do it all in one shot instead of, you know, separate. So I'm gonna do it with this plastic piece of paper. And so what you wanna do is just get your Juno hair out of there first. <laughs> and you wanna just get it to touch. And it's take, look, look, it's taking the blue with it. Uh, that's interesting. It took all, it looks like it took all the blue right with it. Look at that. 
I don't know if that's right, if that's wrong, but we'll find out. And I need more paper. These swipes are tricky. Um, I don't think I'm going to like this very much, only because I like the way the Shelly technique um, has special cells. Oh, I better get rid of that blue. Actually, I'm going to use the other side. Yes, I am. Okay, so I don't, I'm not going to bother to flip the board around. So... Alrighty then. Uh, me no likey. <laughs> I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, because. Let me throw this in the garbaggio. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking it. Let me try that again. Now I brought the blue with it. Now I'm just messing with it. See, I'm just. I'm messing with it. I should have stuck to the Shelly Technique pores or paints. I don't like that at all. Um, say bye-bye. See, I'm, you know, if you saw my last video, you saw me scrape an entire massive canvas when I did the uh, black and white, but it turned out amazing. I'm really happy with that, how that turned out. Um, it is drying, so I cannot show it to you yet. Um, but I will show it to you maybe in the next few videos. Okay, so I'll gotta say though, the colors here on the side are pretty. All right, so I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna bring out my Shelly paints because that did not work at all. Okay, so we have the base. We've got yellow and orange. And we've got the exact same colors. Like I have the exact same colors. So the same colors I used in my Dutch pour paints is the exact same colors I'm using here again. And look, I cleaned my bottles. Aren't you proud of me? All right. So, come on, that's, okay. So I'm gonna try this one and do it again with uh, these Shelly paints because I really do like um, the cells and the lacing that happen when you do it with this stuff. Problem is you use a lot of paint and that's house paint. So the Shelly technique, you do use house paint for that. Okay, so I'm going to use my spatula. Oh, I usually wear gloves when I do the Shelly technique because it's so messy, such a messy technique. And because I am not worrying about the sides, I don't have to tilt it at all. Oh, you know what I did? I threw away that plastic and I'm gonna need it if I want to. All right, here it is. I'm just gonna cut it off, see? I have everything handy. Scissors, tape. All right, there we go. Okay. So, um, I don't know what's going on where you guys live, but uh, it's what, January 11th? And instead of it being cold today, it's been more warm it's been seven degrees today celsius so i know in the states you guys do fahrenheit and stuff but um and it's been raining all 
day, like all day, like pouring rain all day. So everything is flooding. If you check out Juno's YouTube channel, I posted a quick video of, I took them for a walk and uh, there is a stream um, on our walk and it is completely over flooded. It's just overflowing with water. It's the roads are flooded. I can't believe how much um, water there is. And oh, a couple of blocks away, the power's out. So I am praying and hoping that uh, we don't lose power because if we do, my sump pump here in the basement, we have a battery backup, but you know, that only lasts so long, right? And if that dies, <laughs> my basement's gonna flood. So that will not be good. But, uh, and tomorrow it's supposed to be like minus seven degrees Celsius which means everything is gonna freeze. How lovely, everything is gonna freeze. So that will not be good at all. Uh, so tomorrow's gonna be a very interesting day, guys. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen. But we will have to play it by ear. All right, I'm almost done here. Sorry guys, rambling. But yeah, check out Juno's channel and you'll see the video I posted of me taking him for a walk in the pouring rain and you'll see the flooding that's happening. His uh, link is listed in the description below so you can check that out. Oh, I need my cell activator, here we go. Um, so I'm going to try and do one bead like so, and let's hope this one works. All right. Um, and it's so not straight. It's crazy. That is not straight. Uh, I grabbed some of the orange there. Okay. I'm such a mess tonight, guys. All right, let's go the other way. All right, I'll leave that there. Um, okay, so I am gonna tilt it a bit because I want this to come over the edges. Now, a lot of people were like, oh, in, in a swipe you don't tilt. Guess what? It's my swipe. I'll tilt if I want to, um, but no. Like, I mean, I think it's swiping is, see, kind of neat. It kind of gives it you know, a little more, and you know what? I added a lot more pillow paint. So it's moving a lot better. Now my issue here is I don't have a lot of cells. And I'm wondering if I should do one more swipe or if I should leave it. So, as you can see, I have a plastic tablecloth here and I'm making a mess of it, which is fine because I plan on just chucking it when I'm done. And that's why I don't have my lowly Veffy mat because if I did, it would be a complete and utter disaster right now. And I shouldn't have done that because now I got blue in the yellow. So we're gonna have to tilt that sucker off now. I shouldn't have done that. 
So tilt it to the side to get it to fall off and there it goes, just like so. I'm gonna bring it back to the center. See, my blue cells are coming out, but the yellow ones are just kind of hiding a little bit. So I'm trying to bring them back. That's my mom. My mom's messaging me. All right. Um, I want to stretch these guys out. Where are my yellow cells? Should have used what I knew. Um, I'm just messing everything up. Canela! Silly. Okay, well, that helped because I got cells right there now. But I also got blue where I didn't want blue. So I don't know how to fix that. And I'm trying to do it so you guys can see what I'm doing, but boy, that's hard. Maybe if I stretch the, you know, what out of it, I'll get some really cool cells. Because at this point, boy, oh boy, am I glad I'm wearing gloves, guys. Let me tell you. Because I can feel this cold paint all over my hands. I want that to fall off, so... I'm just stretching this like crazy because I want that muck up that I did to fall off. Come on, fall off. You see how much paint gets wasted? Look at that, I just want that to fall off. All right, let me bring it back. Let me blow it off. That kind of worked actually. It did work. All right, let me bring it back. I hate that white blob in the center. So I'm hoping with all this stretching, I can kind of make it go away. But now I'm liking it because I did that one quick swipe. So I think next time if I do it again, um, I'm going to just use my low leave Effie scraper because that plastic just wasn't very good. But le look, what is going on on the tablecloth look at those colors that's really neat all right so it looks like i have some crashing waves oh sorry <laughs> i'm like trying to see what i'm doing but at the same time not realizing you're not in camera view so crashing waves coming through i'm just gonna bring it back down i like it oh i'm tired all right, let me, this is kind of neat. I like, it. oh my gosh, look at that. See, always wear gloves when doing anything Shelly art related. All right, uh, I don't know what to do. Should I mess with it some more? Uh... No, oh, I think I like it. I think I like it just like that. And my, I don't even know how to clean my hands off at this point. Look at this, look at this. Can you hear that? It's like, oh, uh, that's funny. But it's cool though, because the ocean meets a beautiful sunset. It actually looks really neat. But I'm just, I know, I know, I know. I just can't leave well enough alone, you know that? Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. And I'm gonna take the, oh, without splashing myself with paint again, I'm gonna take these off. There we go. And I am going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. Alrighty, so guess what? I smartened up and now I turn the camera around and then that way I can show you guys really well 
what the canvases look like. So from now on, I'm going to be doing it like this. So anywho, here it is. Let me know what you guys think. I, I actually, I didn't like that at first, but now it just kind of looks like a wave crashing over. Like, you know what I mean? That's pretty neat. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to keep practicing. It's only my second swipe. Um, don't forget to check out my uh, information all in the description below. Please subscribe, guys. If you're watching and you have not hit that subscription button, please do so and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget, all my social media links are listed below. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, you know, all that fun stuff. And don't forget Juno's channel. And my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. Um, you can do so using the PayPal link below. I hope you guys liked it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.